Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the decathlon. Like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Draft Day Sports College Football 2019, episode number 26. Mid-season here, we are 4-4, four and four, and we're up against San Diego State, who has a similar record, right about 500. I think they're 4-3 and three entering this game. Uh, but we are in a bit of trouble here. Uh, for one thing, on the current drive, San Diego State has the ball 3rd and 9 at the 18-yard line, so they're in the red zone. But they're not going to get the score here, but can they get 3? We'll find out as Maggard breaks up that play. 35-yard field goal attempt from David Pace is good. 10 nothing. Uh but we're in a little bit of trouble for a few reasons. One, well, we've had two turnovers already in this game, an interception and a fumble lost uh, on the run. Also, we've had a punt go the other way for six, so that's their only score of the game. And then also the not actual trouble, but theoretical trouble uh, is that option left is held by Ware and he loses two on that one he's going to drop back to pass here and that pass is incomplete Seaman drops it and fourth and 12 and we're going to have to punt again and I'm scared to punt now after uh, after that returned touchdown earlier in this one this one's going to get inside the 20 but no return so nice job on that punt held Holds them at their own 16. They're not moving the ball on the ground at all, but they are moving the ball pretty well through the air. You've got 46 passing yards so far in this one. And here, here's the, the thing that I'm worried about. Their quarterback, well, he's in the wrong position. And we have managed to get some sacks on him today as we get another one there. That's three or four sacks already. But when they have completed passes, they've moved the ball well. It's Jankowski. Not Janikowski, but Jankowski. And their punter, not their field goal kicker, but their punter, so the other guy who kicks the ball, there he is, Montan O. Oh. So, Jan Kowski, Montan O, oh, both play for San Diego State. And that just worries me. It does. It does. You've got one of the greatest kickers, one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. They might be reversed, and they might not quite be right. They're a little wrong in the head, but oh my goodness. Two of the biggest names in the sport. Sort of. On the field. Sort of. Second and ten, we get six yards there by Collins. It's third and four. We've got good field position this time from the 32 after a really poor punt. And this dump off down the middle... Uh, goes nowhere as Ware dumps it off into all sorts of traffic and we're going for it on fourth and four and he's got enough for the first down Whew. we have run the ball well in this game we've got 60 yards on the ground so far uh, passing has not been our strong suit five of nine we've had a one drop we've had a couple sacks to set us back and again another one where holds on to that too long doesn't dump it off and now it's second and 17 and this option left again where really struggling to make uh decent decisions today he's gonna drop back this one looks good oh come on pass incomplete fourth and 21 oh and we punt we don't even take the field goal attempt from there Ugh. ew why 10 yards was all that was worth. At least take a shot and go for the field goal. It would have made it, you know, 15 yards roughly, 17 yards. But ridiculous decision. Third and six here as Jankowski holds it on that option left and loses three yards. This time the run's going to gain a low. He breaks the tackle and gets the first down. Uh, we had him stopped. We had him stopped. He gets just enough for the first. And yeah, we had him stopped for about a three-yard gain. Again, this option right by Jankowski again loses three yards. Second and 13. Their run game not doing too well, but they've done what they needed to do when they need to do it to definitely be ahead of us. Third and eight now. Ten-point deficit. 
at the end of the first quarter. Four minutes into the second quarter. And again, third and long. And they nearly do enough. But it's fourth down. This should be a punt. It is. Montano takes this one. Not much of a punt. But it, it at least shuts us down and puts us at our own 21. So... Bit of a struggle here early on in this one. Kirkwood not moving the ball too well, but Gabriel's been having a really good day so far. This pass into traffic falls incomplete. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Johnson's got four pancakes already. Short gain on third. I don't know why. Why, 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 why the AI wants to run on third and long all the time. They... they they do that 75% of the time on third and long. It's something you do 10% of the time, try to catch a team off guard. Or you do it for, you know, better punt position, knowing that you're going to get a little more yardage on it to play the field position game. But you don't do it 90% of the time. It just doesn't work hardly ever. Third and nine. Good chance to get a stop. We get backfield penetration and the option left. He ends up holding it onto it. Jankowski loses two yards and they will punt again. So Jankowski, Montano. I like seeing both of them because one of those kickers means that uh, we're going to get the ball. And Naggard with a big return here gets it beyond the 50, beyond the 20, to the 10. And no touchdown, no touchdown, but... First and goal from the 8 after a 78-yard punt return by Maggard. Big play there, and this comeback is complete, and it's going to be a good gain and good enough into the end zone. Whew, back into the game. Back into the game. It's Pittman with the catch. Eight yards on that one, and the score is 10-7. We only trail by a field goal now, and let's go ahead and CPU finish this one. We should be the favorite, but we've struggled early on. We'll see if we can complete the comeback and get the win after trailing early in this game. No. No, it can't happen. Fourth quarter, we try another comeback, but the third quarter was all San Diego State. Jankowski, 164 yards. First downs, slight disadvantage, but there you go. Third down efficiency, that's where we lost the game. Just one third down completion all game. Yardage, only a small deficit. 50% through the air. Rushing, almost identical yardage on a similar number of attempts. Penalties didn't hurt us, but did hurt them. But turnovers certainly hurt us. We had two interceptions. We had three fumbles, only lost the one. So we only had one more turnover the rest of the game. Uh, it's shocking that we couldn't come back and win this thing. But that stat line right there is your answer on why. Three touchdowns for wear, but two interceptions really hurts. Kirkwood, 82 yards. Wear, that was that was the costly, costly one. Minus 43 yards for him. Good split of uh, receiving tasks. Seaman had a 64-yard touchdown catch. No field goal attempts in the game, which is a bit ridiculous considering how close we were and didn't try. Maggard, the big one. The one big return, but nothing else. Whew. Wells had a huge day. Ten tackles. Seven for a loss, including a sack, forced fumble, and recovery. That's got to be your defensive play, player of the week. Has to be Damon Wells. That's a freshman. That's one of our freshmen that we got last season. Dang. <laughs> defensive end. Eighty-two overall. A lot of strength for him. Great job. Great game for him. Allen had 10 tackles as well. Carr had 8. 
Tracy had a forced fumble. Only a few pass deflections in this game, so defensive backs struggled a bit today. Uh, Keenan ended up with seven pancakes. Johnson had five. He had four of those early on. Three sacks allowed. Not bad considering I think we already had that about the time. They apparently only had one sack allowed, but we had more sacks than that. Late on. I mean, er early on we had more sacks than that already. And the penalties. I don't understand how we lost. They're, they're literally, well, there's only two things. Two things. One for 16 on third down and just 13 first downs for the game. How we lost that game, how we gave up 34 points is difficult to fathom when they only had 300 yards. When they, when they only had 16 first downs. The punt return touchdown, that hurt. Field, field position had to be something because they did not have a lot of yardage. Just 164 yards through the air. One guy just breaking 100 yards. Tough loss. It's a tough loss to take because in so many ways it looked like we should have won that game. But the offense just couldn't put their head down and make something happen. Rank drops about 20 spots after that loss. And we're four and five. Nevada's up next. That's a four and four team. No new recruits. It's so nice to have one though. Recruiting summary. Ouch. Uh, Joiner, cornerback, four-star guy, just signed up for Nebraska, and that was one of our scholarship offers. So that scholarship came out of nowhere, and they took it instantly. Uh, Harold Rogers is gone, but we knew he was going. Loveless and Boyer. These are the two I'm looking at. Nobody else is going after Loveless, but Boyer. Yeah, he's the one I'm worried about uh, leaving us. Boyer has the offer right now. Loveless does not. Boyer's the better player, but we're probably not going to get him. Only five players improving this week, but three of them tackled. And Jonathan Brown improves in two areas. I was hoping that was a game we could win. Allison getting really close to signing. 83 on the entrance level. Nobody else after him. Uh, Texas Tech in on Patino. Oh, that's been, I think that's been like that actually for a little while. But at just 25 on the interest, we're probably going to lose him. Fullback, not a position I need big time. This one hurts though. Uh, Neil's, Neil's a goner, so we're, we're going to need a tight end. Interest is very low, and Virginia Tech coming in on him, guaranteed he's gone. So let's go ahead and revoke. Let's pull that one. <sighs> Mole is still sitting on a 48. He, I think he was on like a 47 last week. Just can't get him up over that hump. Love to get Phillips, five-star guy. I don't see it happening, but somebody at some point is going to jump in for those guys. Uh, 
Oklahoma State in on Blackwood, and the interest is completely gone, just like that. So Blackwood's out. Where'd you go, Blackwood? There you go. Interest, a two. So yeah, revoke, you don't like me. You never liked me. And now that somebody else does like you, you really don't like me. There's the Boyer one, where we have some interest. It's a decent amount of interest. And what we're going to do now, I think we're going to go to an 8. And we're going to give 4 points away now. So take a couple points in on Loveless. And just slowly, slowly shift to, to Loveless, because Loveless is somebody we can recruit. And Boyer is not. Uh, Iowa in on Daniels now. And there's no interest there, so we need another tackle as well. I lost somebody. There we go. Lost targets. Who did I lose? Joiner. So I lost my other cornerback. So I lost both cornerbacks. Yes. Yeah, Blackwood. Blackwood as well. So I lost both cornerback recruits. That's going to hurt. So I've got two cornerbacks, a tackle, and a tight end to replace. Rough week for us. Okay, we need a tight end. Just one team in USC going after him. Okay, Jonathan Thomas, Rally North Carolina, three star guy, recruit rank four seventeen. Again, USC, the only one in. Down to three stars already. Luis Ware, a 326. Logan Sport, Louisiana. Two cornerbacks. <laughs> Again, USC the only one in. Okay, John Wolford. Is three forty two. Chickamauga, Georgia, famous Civil War battle there. And here's the next guy out of Hawaii.
works out just right. We use up virtually all of our scouting points and get our recruits set and we're ready to go back out there, get at it again. Next up, Nevada. We'll watch a little bit of this game just to see how we're doing. Four and five now our record. Nevada's four and four. And there we go. Clark kicks off the game here. We are on the road for this one. Nevada starts off with a decent return. Just one yard further than if they had taken the touchback, though. Decent enough coverage by the defense. Whew. If he had come out of that, that would have been dangerous. He would have had the whole field to run as my entire defense was had collapsed up towards the line of scrimmage on that one. Pass was complete, but only two yards. On second down, they're going to run right up the middle for no gain. And on third, they're going to drop back to pass. He's got some room to run. He found an opening defense. Did not have everyone covered on that one. So third down completed for the first 25-yard gain at right, just like that, they're at midfield. In fact, our end of the field. First down here. Drops it. Incomplete Casillas breaks that play up. Already something we didn't do much of in the last game. Second and 10, four-yard gain. Rush by Cook. Draw up the middle. Third and six, they're going to drop to pass right down the middle. It's caught, but the tackle is made immediately. Four-yard gain, fourth and two, but it's from the 38. Do they go for it on fourth down? They do not. They punt here. Nelson's going to punt that one, and that's in for a touchback. So only a, a net 18 yards. That feels good. That feels good. One big play was all it was. The option here, it's handed off, but Kirkwood cannot get back to the line of scrimmage got a little closer than Ware would have gotten. Second and 11. Third and 11. Short gain. Kirkwood. Defense. Linebackers were spying on that one. It was a good defensive play call. Third and 11. Falls incomplete. Fourth and 11. Three and out. Offense struggles again. Really bad punt there by Camo. Just 36 yards. No return. Offside penalty on first down already. They they open the drive, first actual play from the scrimmage, and they're at the 50. Second and four after a one-yard gain. I hate those short field situations because we make a stop here, and it's still enough for a first down. Should be third and five, but nope. Chains are moving. Dump off over the middle. Not going anywhere. Second down. Another penalty. Too many men on the field. Really, we just started a game. It's like the first substitution you've had to make. Third and five. No gain. Dive right. Option uh, sweep left. Down in the backfield. Well, back to the line of scrimmage. Allen, good tackle on that one. Pitch left. Fourth and five. And another punt. Short field punt. Looks like it's going for a touchback again. It, does first and ten from the twenty. So we survived two scares early on in this one. This pass, come back tight end there to block it, but Pittman, I don't know, maybe he also messed Pittman up because that falls incomplete. Pitch to the right to the fullback, short gain, three yards. This time, movement to the left, he gets past the first defender. Gets past the second defender, but he slows him up, and we end up with uh, no gain and another three and out and a punt. So we got a defensive battle here early on in this one, but yardage is 40 to 2. So big deficit early on, and we are a little fortunate to uh, still be in this game. Nevada often run it on that one, got past his defender. 
off to the races, to the 40, to the 35, we're catching up to him, to the 30, finally bringing him down. Thiel comes across the field, bring him down, 48-yard gain, and it's first and 10 from the 28. Second and 10. Game's still scoreless, but uh, we are at a major disadvantage. Another offside penalty. Defense. Three five-yard penalties already in this one. That one's incomplete, broken up. Third and five. Dump off down the middle. It's complete. Is it enough? Oh, just enough. Exactly five yards. Exactly. Carr makes the quick tackle, but he was able to dive forward across the line. Finally, a decent play from the defense. Bruno with the sack. Six-yard loss. It's your secondary defensive end. And on second and 16, we get another sack. James Duffy, the linebacker, in. Another six-yard loss. That uh, Pocket is beginning to collapse quicker. Uh, third and long. Good good tackle. Schuler stops that one. For, fourth down and finally a field goal attempt. Short field. That put it into the red zone. And their first trip to the red zone results in three points. We bend, but we don't break. Third possession in a row that they get into a good position. This time, Maggard's going to get a chance to return. That's a decent return. He's going to give us our best field position of the game so far out to the 35. And actually, that's the farthest we've even been with the ball. First and 10, run to the outside, turns the corner, but can't get very far. Actually, he only gets three on that one. It looked like he had more than that. But uh, And now the offense with the stupid penalties. Wilkins, illegal shift, sets us back. Second and 12. We pick up one yard on the draw play. Third and 11. Again, nowhere. Going nowhere. We get a net zero on that. We have seven yards for the game. At least they have negative yardage on the ground. But in the air, they are moving the ball well. And that punt goes inside the 20. But it's going to come out to the 30 after Wilkes gets 18 on that return. And again... That's okay field position. It's been all Nevada early on in this game, but we're not going to be watching much of this one. Most of the time, second game like this, mid-episode, I would just go straight to the box score, but I'm glad we're watching a little bit as finally Thiel comes up with a huge play, intercepting that one. He falls immediately, but he at least got the interception and gives our offense a chance, and finally... The offense looks ready to take advantage of that opportunity. 17 yards on first down by Gabriel there on the counter left. We're going to drop to pass here. First down and quarterback keeper. Draw. Where? One yard. That puts us in the red zone for the first time. Second and nine. Decent gain here. It's going to be third and short. Five yards by Kirkwood. Third and four. That was counter left. Dropped a pass on third down. Dump off over the middle to the tight end. He makes a catch. It's a first down. He's inside the 10 to the 7 yard line. It's Hart on the 8 yard game. First and 7. Goal line. Comeback. Catch. Touchdown. And we've got the lead. That's a good time to uh, cut this one off. And let's go to the box score. And let's see. Offense, slow start, but big play there after a good defensive play. And it was not enough, though. That appeared to be our only lead of the game. We trailed 31-7 at the half, and we lose 52-28. Boy, just when the team looked like it was coming along, it's not. Next up, New Mexico. It was a road game, mind you. But we dropped a 4-6. Kirkwood, 119 yards on 18 attempts, two touchdowns, but not enough. Duffy, six tackles, a sack, not enough. How do, uh, how do we lose these ones? 15 first downs. Again, six for 16 was better. 430 yards was better, but they had 496. I thought our defense was doing better than that. Yards per pass was identical. Rushing was twice what they had. Eight penalties certainly didn't help. 
Each team intercepted once. Yeah, kind of an initial look. I think we shouldn't have lost this game. Clark missed his only field goal attempt of the day. Baggard. Okay, nothing special teams wise that really stood out. They did have a 65 yard punt return. That stands out. Carr had 12 tackles. Multiple pass deflections, the one interception, number of sacks, no sacks in the game. How did we lose this one? Well, their line, their line did a really good job protecting quarterback just one sack. We had zero sacks allowed. Not a ton of pancakes, but it seems like we did enough, but we didn't. And we, I mean, we, we lost by quite a bit. And they nearly doubled our score. Not quite eliminated from bowl contention yet, but we're going to have to win our last two games of the season to have any chance at being selected to a bowl. Four and six to Mexico is just three and six. Could be. Could be. Whoa, a lot of mail. Recruiting summary. There you go. Boyer went to Vanderbilt. Kind of saw that one coming. Blackwood's gone. He went to Florida State. Saw that coming. Neil's gone. Went to Virginia Tech. Saw that coming at least. But Griswold, above average potential. Wolford, really good potential. Ware, really good potential. Nice. And Thomas, about average. But that's that's good for new guys. Trade report. And nobody seemed to be in on them. That's a really bad week. Uh, okay. These guys are all tired of losing. Well, win! Come on! You got a team capable of winning. Easily could have won one of those last two games. We could be 5-5 five and five right now looking at a above 500 season. Instead, we're, we're staring at a losing season again and probably 5-7, and seven, which is not bad. But could have been better. Could have been better. Should have been better. I feel like we could have hit 500 this season. Now I'm not so sure. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, hold on. Clear, clear, clear. Ka-chunk. Got some heart palpitations. Something's not quite right with the team. Allison getting close, 86. Ohio State in on Howe. Howe's out. Crew rank was 34. Limited chance that we were ever going to get him, but that's quarterback. Patino, oh gosh, now half the freaking league wants Patino. And it's Nick. <laughs> Not Rick, but Nick. We're out. That dropped quite a bit. I mean, we were 35 40, weren't we? Now it's 17. That's 
guard. Oklahoma. That's another tackle lost. Mullis finally breaks 50, and it shows up. Okay, this is something I've been keeping an eye on. Didn't want to say anything, but I had a hunch. Last week, Mullis had a 48 for his interest level. This week, it's a 53. Last week, he was not on the recruited by list. This week, he is. As soon as they break 50 on interest level, that's when they show up on the interest level. So... Uh, the recruited by there's there's the ticker as soon as interest hits 50 that's where it comes about really good to know really good to know So these other guys can have people recruiting them. But the thing to, to take note of, right? We have a prestige of 36. We play in the Mountain West. I, I'm the worst coach in the history of the game. For now. And hopefully, gosh, that's got to develop, right? <laughs> Please let those stats develop because they haven't been developing. Uh, and I'm really starting to get worried about that. Hillman is out. Strong safety. South Carolina coming in to sweep him away. Okay, Loveless. Make sure he's still available. Good. Loveless has a decent amount of interest, and that was with very little recruiting. It's the new guys we're after. Well, that's good. Right away, all of them closing in on 30 interest level. So it's not bad just starting out. But that's five replacements we need. Uh, luckily, we had one right away with Loveless, but that's going to be difficult and we're hitting that late season where this really begins to happen guys lose the schools lose the recruit they're after and then they go in for replacements and then all these teams just jump right over what i have okay quarterback hey all these five-star players usc looking like they could be a real powerhouse once again after some years of futility after getting busted for violations mind you there are certain conferences that do something is this the guy I just grabbed, right? Yes. Okay, so Polly. We're still in on a four-star guy. That's that's actually really good. So we still have a chance at a four-star player at quarterback. Okay, I need a... Uh, 
another tackle, a guard, a fullback, and a strong safety. But unlike a lot of conferences, the Pac-12 is actually really, really adamant about cleaning things up, and they've been involved where other conferences will quietly allow things to go on for years and years and years, even when they're known. But they'll quickly throw somebody under the bus. No doubt about that. Okay, so we're down to the three-star level at guard, but still a high recruit level. status scouting points so we're not going to be able to get everyone but we still have the recruiting points so uh, fullback and a strong safety let's go to the strong safety first and then we'll come back to the fullback the fullback is not an urgent thing not something I use much of Ooh, and I'd rather have this guy oops is that who it was? Rush? Yes. Offer. We'll just spend the 20. We'll save this the interview for next week. And then finally, fullback. Down to three stars already. Dustin Maggard. Could it be? Could it be family? A cousin? Offer. Actually, I have two points left. We'll leave those alone, though. Not dealing with uh, backups at this point. All right. So two games left in the season here. New Mexico three and six. Kansas two and six. Two wins. Could. Put us into a bowl game potentially at six and six. Uh, we're through ten weeks on the calendar of thirteen. But there are sixteen in all when you count that out, so we still got some time for this recruiting to take place, for this to happen. Uh, so Next episode will be more heavily focused on that aspect, the recruiting side of things and pushing towards the end. We've got one coming in in air in Poland, and it's nice to have one out of the way because last season it all literally came down to the last minute. And there's a couple more players that I could see potentially committing before the end of the season. So we could have as many as three committed before those final days while well, the rest, for the most part, jump it in last moment uh, if we could build that prestige a little bit more i could see us getting a few players here and there and that'd be a big step uh, as opposed to just going for scraps all the time but if i could some point somewhere down the road if they would just develop a little bit some of these stats that would some of these attributes that would make such a difference down the road you know, for for example, if at the end of this season, if I had development, one star. If I had offensive line, one star. If I had discipline, one star. If I had recruiting, one and a half stars. Scouting, one star. Make a big difference. Really would. Coach offense, one star, right? If the game doesn't develop your attributes, what's the freaking point? 
in doing that. Uh, it's just makes no sense. At some point, I've got to become a one-star coach. Otherwise, why am I doing this? Why am I making this challenge? Why have your own coach? Help me out, game. Help me out. Please show me some progress. We've had this progress. <laughs> Is it, hopefully, just because everything takes a 25 or a 20 before it shows that first star? And I started with nothing but ones. So maybe I've got a bunch of 10s and 15s now. Maybe I am better, just it's not showing up on here. That's my hope. Please, oh please. But that's going to do it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer. And remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.